Hi everyone, this is Maleshwari. Welcome to our channel, Chemistry with Maleshwari. Today, I am going to explain about what is electrochemical equivalent and chemical equivalent. Okay, so these two terms are based on Faraday's laws of electrolysis. Okay, we can see this small e that is electrochemical equivalent in Faraday's first law and scatter e that is chemical equivalent in Faraday's second law. Now see what are the definitions of both these terms. See first of all electrochemical equivalent uh, according to first law. Okay, so according to Faraday's first law. Okay, so according to Faraday's first law, W is directly proportional to Q. So W is directly proportional to Q. What is W here? Weight of the substance deposited or liberated or dissolved at any electrode. That is directly proportional to quantity of electricity passed into electrolyte. Okay, so this is the formula of first law. Weight of the substance is directly proportional to quantity of electricity passed. Okay, but we know Q equal to Ct. Means Q equal to current in coulombs and C equal to current in amperes and T equal to time in seconds. Okay, then we can replace W is directly proportional to Ct. Okay, now W is equal to ECT by giving proportionality constant. That is small e. What is small e? Electrochemical equivalent. Now, when Q equal to 1 coulomb of current. Okay, when Q equal to 1 coulomb of current. Then C equal to 1 ampere. And T equal to 1 second. Okay, when Q equal to 1 coulomb, then C equal to 1 ampere and T equal to 1 second. So then C and T are nothing but 1. Then we can replace this equation by W equal to E. Now here, weight of the substance is equal to electrochemical equivalent. Okay, now electrochemical equivalent is defined as the amount of substance deposited or liberated at any electrode is by passing one coulomb of electricity. Okay, so electrochemical equivalent is defined as the amount of substance deposited, I can write here, the amount of substance, amount of substance deposited deposited by passing one coulomb of electricity one coulomb of electricity or one coulomb of current so this is called as electrochemical equivalent that is small e okay once again electrochemical equivalent is denoted by the letter small e and according to faraday's first law so, Faraday's first law, W is directly proportional to Q. We know that is weight of the substance is directly proportional to quantity of electricity passed. But Q equal to Ct. Q means coulomb, uh, current in coulombs and C means current in amperes. And T equal to time in seconds. Okay. And we can replace Q with the Ct. So, W is directly proportional to Ct. When we replace the proportionality by a constant, then W is equal to ECT. W is equal to ECT. Now, if Q equal to 1 coulomb, then C equal to 1 ampere and T equal to 1 second. Okay? So, C and T equal to 1, then W is equal to E. Now, electrochemical equivalent is defined as the amount of substance deposited or liberated by passing one coulomb of electricity. Okay, so the amount of substance 
deposited or liberated by passing one coulomb of electricity or one coulomb of current okay so this is about electrochemical equivalent okay now let us move on to what is meant by chemical equivalent now see what is chemical equivalent that is represented by the term captain e okay so this term so this term is in faraday's second law okay so e that is chemical equivalent or equivalent weight we can also called as equivalent weight okay capital e is also called as chemical equivalent or equivalent weight okay so according to faraday's second law okay faraday's second law we can see w1 by w2 equal to capital e1 by capital e2 this is faraday's second law but already we know w equal to e c t okay according to first law w equal to e c t we can replace w with the e c t here then e1 c t by e2 c t equal to capital e1 by capital e2 then here c t c t cancel then we will get small e1 by e2 equal to capital e1 by e2 here so here we can say that electrochemical equivalent is directly proportional to chemical equivalent okay here we can see e1 by e2 equal to capital e1 by e2 we can consider that both are directly proportional so here we can extract the term chemical equivalent so that, that's why chemical equivalent is directly proportional to electrochemical equivalent and here there is a proportional and here e equal to f e we can write here means f is a proportionality constant and we can call it as a faraday f e is a proportionality constant and we can call it as faraday and the value of f equal to 96500 coulombs okay the value of f equal to 96500 coulombs okay so finally capital e equal to f e so we can define the term chemical equivalent that is capital e or equivalent weight okay how can we define so the chemical equivalent is defined as the amount of the substance deposited or liberated by passing one faraday of electricity the amount of substance deposited or liberated by passing one faraday of electricity so one faraday or we can also write like this 96500 coulombs of electricity okay so capital e is a chemical equivalent chemical equivalent of the substance is defined as the amount of substance deposited or liberated by passing one faraday of electricity or 96500 coulombs of electricity okay so this is about capital e okay once again so chemical equivalent will be calculated by uh third is second law okay so here w1 equal to w2 by e1 equal to e2 is the third is second law okay but we know w equal to e c t we know w equal to e c t that is according to first law we can replace w with e1 c t by e2 c t okay the so e1 c t by e2 c t equal to capital e1 by e2 and here c t c t cancel and e1 by e2 equal to capital e1 by e2 and this is nothing but both are directly proportional so capital e is directly proportional to small e means chemical equivalent is directly proportional to electrochemical equivalent so the proportionality constant f we can take here okay we can take f is a proportionality constant here and capital e equal to fe 
ओके सो कैपिटल ई इक्वल टू एफ ई एफ इज ए प्रपोर्शनलिटी कांस्टेंट एंड वी कैन कॉल इट एज फैरडे एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वन फैरडे इज नाइंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड कूलम्स एंड देर इज ए रिलेशन बिटवीन स्मॉल ई एंड कैपिटल ई हाउ स्मॉल ई इक्वल टू कैपिटल ई बाय एफ ओके सो स्मॉल ई इक्वल टू कैपिटल ई बाय एफ वी कैन so small e equal to capital e by f okay so this is the relation between small e and capital e okay we can use this formula in the problems of faraday's first law okay so this is about capital e and small e okay so i hope you understand we can see the problems on faraday's law in the next class okay